you want to explore Antarctica on an expedition cruise. It sounds fascinating, but a little complicated, as it is a different type of experience. This adventure requires a lot of preparation and a good understanding of what to expect from your Antarctica expedition. I will provide a quick summary of everything you need to know to make your Antarctica expedition cruise the success you deserve. And in this video I'll cover everything you need to know before stepping in on the expedition cruise. First, you need to get to Ushaya. We flew from Orange County, California to New York City, where we changed the plane and proceeded to Buenos Aires. In Buenos Aires, we spent a couple of days getting rested and acclimated to the local time zone. Remember that from December to March is their summer, so bring some summer clothes. Then we flew to Ushaya. It took just over three hours to fly south and you can see how the weather is different. So now make sure to wear some warm clothes. It's important to get to Ushaya at least a couple of days before your expedition. Because in case of any airline delays or cancellations, the cruise line will not wait for you. Also, while in Ushaya, you will need to do some important things before your cruise starts. Ushaya is a resort town in Argentina, located on the southernmost tip of South America, on the Tierra del Fuego Archipelago. Ushaya is also called the end of the world. It is surrounded by the Marshall Mountains and the Beagle Channel. It's where you are going to take your expedition cruise to Antarctica from. Ushaya's airport is small and there are plenty of taxis in front of it. It took us about 11 minutes to get to our hotel. While in Ushaya, we stayed at the Mustapik Hotel. It has modest but charming accommodations and is very inexpensive. But most importantly, it has a great location within a walking distance of everything you'll need. As soon as you get situated, you'll need to go to your travel agency. They will size you up and provide you with the free gear needed for the expedition. Some of it will be to use only and needs to be returned. And some of it will be yours to keep. To see the complete dressing guide, please watch this video. If you are easily seasick, the cruise front desk will provide you with free medicine. Now you can rest and enjoy exploring Ushaya, and there are so many interesting things to do. On the day of departure, you have to bring all your luggage to the travel agency and leave it there. It will be delivered to your stateroom on the cruise. It's important to choose the right cruise ship for the expedition. First, it has to be compact, so you can get into the most remote areas to explore. Secondly, it's supposed to be equipped with high-quality equipment to successfully deal with the rough seas of the Drake Passage and stabilizers to decrease seasickness. Also, it's supposed to be reasonably priced compared to the competition. And of course, it's supposed to have a design optimized for lower carbon emissions. We were very happy with our choice and I highly recommend it. At 2 p.m. they start to run buses to the cruise. Even though it's just two minutes drive, you cannot walk there as it is a working port. It's one of the most exciting moments when you step in on a cruise and there are no more worries about getting ready. Now the cruise ship leaves Ushaya 
and formally begins the expedition. And we will speak about what to expect from the actual expedition cruise to Antarctica in my next video. Please like and subscribe, as I have a lot of useful information to share with you.